Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Cadillac Jack here from TikTok. I decided, let me start a YouTube channel. So I'm here with the old six wagon. If some of you know me from TikTok, you know the backstory behind this truck. But uh, if not, and you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, I guess we'll get into a little video about the old six wagon. So at the age of 14, I got the bright idea, well, why don't I buy a fire truck? This was 2018. So back then in my spare time, I used to track down my town's old fire trucks as a hobby. This truck right here was my town's old engine 206. And back in 2019, I found it in a scrapyard and it was like, you know what? It's not worth scrapping. It was just like this, except I, all I did was polish it up, fix a few things, and here she is. But, um, so I found her 2019. Negotiations started April 2019. I ended up buying her in July 2020. It is currently January 2021, and here we are. It's a fun truck to have, let me tell you. We'll get into it. I'll go over the whole truck in just a second. So this truck came equipped with an 8V71 Detroit diesel when I got it. This engine is not the original engine, though. This was refurbed into the truck in the 80s. Uh, originally, it had a Waukesha gas engine with a standard transmission. And in the 80s, the original department that had it swapped in the Detroit 8V71 and an Allison automatic transmission. This truck came with a hill pump from the factory, fully functional, although it did freeze over when the last department had it before they sent it to scrap, so some gauges are a little messed up. I did a lot of cleaning of the underside of the truck. There's still more to go, but here it is as if now. Now you see, it did fail DOT inspection for a few reasons which I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the money to fix at the moment, but I did find out it's DOT exempt. So these don't need to get fixed, but some of them I am getting fixed. But uh, first off, let's start with the exhaust system. It needs a brand new exhaust system. So I started to do that. I am gonna end up straight piping it, but for now, here's where we're at. As you can see right here, Other reasons it failed DOT. These front tires, these are the original tires that came on the truck in 1975. I mean, they're perfectly fine. The problem is, they're the original tires. They can be a ticking time bomb, you never know. Now right here, this wheel seal is leaking, so I need to get that fixed. Those were pretty much the main three reasons it failed. The front wheels are okay to drive with. They're not dry rotted or anything. It's just a matter of, you never know. So I have been driving it like this. They are fine, but eventually, hopefully sooner than later, they will get replaced. First thing on my list to actually get fixed though, that I can't do myself is the rear wheel seal. And you know, you shouldn't be driving it like that because you never know how much oil it's lost. And the thing I'm actually fixing myself that I'm getting done is the exhaust system. Now, without further ado, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this moment. Let's start her up and hear that 8V71 purr. Now everything on this truck is fully functional, sirens, lights. So I guess we'll light her up right now and let you all see the lights. And right here we have all our lighting controls, red lights, turns on all the flashing lights. This turns on my Headlights, park lights, scene lights, etc. Here she is all lit up. It's kind of hard to see the white flashing because of the uh, daylight. But that right there, I'm going to have to get replaced. The old department that had it did that. I'm not a fan of it. I like the original red lens that came on it, not the LED. It just looks stupid, in my opinion. Now, I'm sure you all are asking, siren test. Well, I got you. Now this truck originally did have a Q siren and a bell. The Q siren was removed by the last department that had it. I bought some cheap siren I found at a flea market, threw it on there, although it will get replaced. 
All right, quick dig. Horn? Siren. And then you also have the Q paddle. High beams, low beams, air horns. Then the good old PA 20A electric siren, which I'm not gonna do full thing, the neighbors get mad, but. And I also installed the CP radio in here. That's functional too. This truck's come a long way since I got it from scrap. I mean, I did a lot of work to it. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this, make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on TikTok. It's at 55 Cadillac Jack. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be coming out with more content soon. Thank you, guys.